Actually, I already. Yeah. My attorney had really fought for me. Got my case dismissed due to lack of evidence. Come on, Destiny. You did three years, you were supposed to do 10. Yeah, that's cause my lawyer fought for me. Why you acting like that? Ain't nobody, I wouldn't snitch on you. How I know that? You know the truth. You could have used what you had to take all us down. Why would I do three years for y'all? Come on, Jules, you know me. You know what I know? People change when pressure's applied. Especially when that pressure is coming from a cop singing in your ear. So, I go down for you and this is how you want to talk to me? For real? Man, be for quiet. Real? Yo, chill out, man. Ain't nobody wearing no wire. Who else in here right now? It's just me. My roommates are gone, bro. You is tripping. Look. Listen. Look. I'm sorry, all right? But you know how it is. Somebody get out early. It just don't look good. I'm trying to make sure ain't nobody trying to snake me. You know? I'm not. And if I was, why would I even call Rico for more work? See, Rico is the reason I'm over here now. He called me and said you needed supplies. I can't believe you out. I brought it, but I'm still not even too sure. See, I've been out for a month. And I've been laying low because of my PO. But I need some real money, Jules. What? I would never sell you out, bro. Ever. All right. Fine. Give me the money. For real? Can't believe you just got out and you went back in. But hey, I ain't turning down no bread. Man, appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just do your job. <laughs> I'm gonna do my job. You better believe it. Hey, don't let the door hit you on the way out, partner. Coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad you're home. Oh, so glad to be home. Glad you're out there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss y'all. Oh. So how's freedom been, sis? I've never been better, okay? I've just been catching up on the Joneses and that's about it. Well, you ain't missed much, trust me. So how'd the interview go? Thank you for reminding me. So why Miss Oliver tell me you all at the interview cussing at the supervisor, so that's why you didn't get the job? Um, see what had happened was... Uh, I don't want to hear the excuses. I do not want to hear the excuses. You just got home from jail. You need to turn your life around before you do something that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. And guess who's not going to be there for you? Me. Oh, Mama, please relax. Calm down. I got me some money coming in. Where you gonna get some money from? Mom. Shut up, Dino. Where you gonna get some money from? I got me a job. A real job? A real job. It better be legal. It's a shame that you have an accounting degree and you don't even see the potential. I'm not gonna sit here and watch you throw your life away again. Because guess what? Like I said before, you gonna be on your own. Really? Mama, have a little bit of faith in your girl. I got this. You better have it. I got it. You better. I do. Anyway, I gotta go home. I gotta get me some rest. I have an overnight shift to do and I will check on you in the morning, young lady. Okay, well, don't worry about it because okay. I'm gonna be over there for dinner okay. tomorrow. Better. I love you. I love you. You coming, Dana? Go start the car, Mom. I'm gonna check up with Destiny. Well, hurry up because I gotta go beat this track. All right. Yeah, come on now. Girl, can you do me a favor? This can't be good. What is it? I just need you to put this bag in my room. You know, just hide it, please. You just sat here and told mama you was getting a job. You still out here pushing drugs? It's just for a little bit, okay? I need to get my own spot. I can't live here no more. These broads still and they stink. They still and they stink, sis. I can't do it. Jail stink too. You wanna go back? I'm not going back to jail, okay? I need you to do me a favor, please. I'll give you some, like, you know, back in the day. 
No, thank you. I've learned from your mistakes. You should do the same. Just hide it in my room. You ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. As soon as I make these sales at the house tomorrow. What? You can't sell drugs in front of mama's house? Are you sure you selling drugs? Cause right now, I feel like you smoking them. Whoa, girl. I'm not gonna be selling them drugs at her house. I'm just saying like, nearby, down the street or something. Destiny, you can't. Everybody saw our house on the news after you got arrested. We haven't been able to move yet. This is dangerous. Stop worrying and just put the bag in my room, okay? Nobody is going to get hurt in 24 hours. I will literally be over there bright and early. I swear you better be early. I will. If you keep this up, I'm telling mom. Seriously, sis? Dead serious. Wow. Okay. Well, I love you too. Bye, little sister. Thanks for the gifts. Police! Yo, what's going on? Destiny, you're under arrest. No! Parole violation, possession of drugs, and intent to sell those drugs. Officer, arrest her. Right. No, please, no, you don't you don't have any proof of this. Actually, I do. No, you don't. Tonight your house is robbed. And in your what? room, we found a black bag on your bed, and inside that black bag was smaller bags full of cocaine. Something else you should know. Because of your drugs and your choices, your sister and your mom were killed tonight. No! That can't be true! That can't be true! No, no, no! Actually, it's very true. No. It is happening. Because of your choices. I told you. Clean your life up. Make better choices. Officer, get out of here. Let's go. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. This isn't fair. This wasn't supposed to happen like this. No. Every action has a reaction. Your choices define your future, so be the best that you can be every single day. Destiny's life of crime landed her in prison, and she missed her mother and sister's funeral. However, let's see what would have happened had Destiny made better choices. Yeah, Rico the reason I'm over here. He said you needed something. To be honest, I'm surprised you got out of prison there. My attorney fought for me. You already know I'm innocent, bro. The thing that I need is to be out of this game, and that's for good. So I upgraded myself, you know, got me a good job with some good benefits. Okay. And I even have my own little desk. All right. I see you turning your life around. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's the job? Accounting for the <laughs> Goldman Law Firm downtown. See, I just want to make enough money so I can move my people up out the hood, get us a better house, and... Some pretty big moves. I just, I want them to be proud of me. I appreciate everything that you've done for me, but I'll be a fool if I go down for somebody else's mistakes. So I can't ever do that again. I can't be mad at you. To be honest, you always been loyal. And you deserve to get out the street. Just make sure that this new life stick. You don't come back. <laughs> oh, I'm not coming back. I want better for myself. And you should want better for you too. Nah, see, you got a better start than me. Tell you what, you make it, come back, get your boy, show me the ropes. Yeah? <laughs> All right, that's a bet. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jules. Don't thank me. All this is on you. I wish you the very best on your new journey. Thank you. Uh, all right, man. All right, all right. Be easy out there. I know them streets get rough. Man, it's the patrol. The moral of the story is, you are the creator of your own life, and what you do will always come back to you. Never let your temporary emotions lead you to have permanent consequences. <laughs>